Hello, my name's Glenda Wright, and I'm going to talk about some of the rights you have while in foster care. I know right now everything is confusing and you're going through many different emotions. You're being told a lot of different things about a lot of different stuff. But what I'm about to tell you is one of the most important things you'll hear and need to know about entering care, and that's your rights. I was in foster care for 11 years. I'm currently 22, and something I've experienced and still affects me to this day is that I wasn't properly told what my rights were while in care. Some of the rights I'm going to review today weren't upheld while I was in care. From my experience, I've made it my mission to make sure youth like you who enter care in Kentucky never have to feel the way I did or be treated the way I was. So listen up, turn the volume up, and we're going to dive in. You should be getting a sheet with the title, Rights of the Child. On that sheet are listed 19 rights you have been given as a youth in foster care. If you don't read anything else you have received today, make sure you read that sheet. And you have, if you have any questions, ask them so that you can fully understand these rights. Myself and a group of other foster kids have read this list and have picked some of the rights we think that you need to know right now. The first one we have all chosen is right number 14, which states, you have the right to participate in extracurriculars, enrichment, cultural, and social activities, including sports, field trips, and overnight activities. Even though you're in foster care, you have the right to feel and be normal. Being a foster youth doesn't take away that right. The next rights we have chosen to highlight are rights number two and five. Number two states that you have the right to be free from physical, sexual, or emotional injury or exploitation. Number five says you have the right to feel safe, secure, and stable. If you're being mistreated in your foster family, you have to speak up and make sure this right is respected. You should never be emotionally or physically mistreated. If you are, this right is being violated. If you feel like you're in an unsafe placement, you need to tell an adult immediately, a relative, a teacher, or your social worker. You matter and your well-being matters too. The next right I'll discuss is right number 13, which states, you have the right to visit your family in the family home, receive visits from family and friends, and have telephone conversations with family members when not prevented by the case plan or case court order. Entering foster care is so scary, and being able to surround yourself with what's familiar can truly make a difference and an easier transition. That's why this right is so important. Foster care should never strip you of your bonds to family or friends unless it's unsafe for you. So if you crave those bonds and this right is being denied, speak up because you have a right to them. Next, number 15 states that you have the right to express opinions on issues concerning your case or treatment. I think this right is one of the most important. It goes along with one of my favorite quotes, which states, nothing about me without me. That's so true. It's your life, and at the end of the day, you'll be the one living it, not until you're 18, but for the rest of your life. So you should have a say on what that life looks like and will look like. You have a voice in your own care. If someone tries to shut you down and doesn't at least let you express your opinion, that's wrong. It's denying you and your right to be able to do so. When you express your opinion, make sure that you do it in a way that will be hard, heard and taken seriously. There are ways of communicating effectively, and screaming at your worker or others isn't that way. But if you're trying to express your opinion in a healthy way, it never should be shut down or denied. We also want to talk about number 11, which states that you have the right to receive notice of and participate in court hearings. When you're told about your court hearings, make sure you go. And when you go, talk to the judge and voice any questions or concerns. This is a very important right that really does give you power in a situation where you can really feel powerless. I'd like to end by saying that when you feel upset or down, just remember that there are people fighting for you 24-7, and you matter to us. You should never feel like you're less than or that you don't deserve the same treatment and love that others outside of foster care get, because you do. Foster parents know you have these rights. If any of your rights are being violated, make sure you reach out to your social worker, court-appointed lawyer, Voices of the Commonwealth, CASA, Ombudsman's Office, and in extreme circumstances, dial 911 if you're in immediate danger. One last note, recently a new right was added to state regulation. That right being the right to appeal certain decisions made regarding your case. For more information about this, please reach out to your regional independent living coordinator so they can help you through the process. Thank you for watching.